Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have part two of my epic thrift haul from a fundraiser sale for our local fair court rodeo princesses. This turned out to be such an epic haul. If you haven't watched part one, I will link that in the description box below so that you can check out the kind of thrift with me portion and the other newer contemporary type items that I got. This half is vintage clothing and shoes and my oh my it is really amazing for those of you who are new here my name's amy i'm a full-time reseller primarily on the poshmark app but i do dabble on other online platforms and i sell locally out of my shop here uh, if you enjoy these types of videos, I would so much appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2023, and I'm at about 3,500 right now, so I really need your help to get to that goal, and it would just mean so much to me. It's also totally free to you. So let's get started. Uh, a lot of these items are from the early 1900s to the 1920s. There are some other, just a few other just vintage items, uh, but some really beautiful historical pieces. So the first item is this pair of what I believe to be wedding shoes, and they have this beaded and uh, just beaded detail, and these are just spectacular. And considering their age, they are in pretty nice condition. So they're probably over 100 years old. I can't make out the designer, but they are from Portland, Oregon, and they are a very tiny size, size 4A. Uh, so, you know, these will probably be sold more as a, you know, decorative or a collector piece. I still haven't counted the number of items that I got, but I spent a total of $95 at this sale. And I wouldn't be surprised if my average cost of goods is around a dollar because I got so many pieces. This type uh, is the type of sale where nothing is priced. You go in, you just put items in your bag, and then you go up to the register. And depending on who is running the register, either they tell you a price for your load of items or you make an offer. So the first day they told me a price of $70. And then the second day I went back and I got more items, a lot less than I got the first day. And I offered them $25 and they were thrilled with that. Okay, so the next item is another pair of shoes and I looked these up and some of these can go in the hundred to two hundred dollar range. Unfortunately these are damaged but I would guess that a cobbler could repair them. No size but I'm assuming that these came from the same lady so they are probably a tiny size four but oh my aren't these just something else so exciting. There are two more pairs of these boots. So there's a brown leather pair. Actually, these look larger. So uh, they may not all be from the same uh, person, but these ones are in very nice condition considering their age. So I'm hoping I can get on the, you know, closer to the $200 price tag for this. And when I got all this stuff, I, so they had a lot of the stuff out on tables, but I went to the end of a table and there was a box, two boxes, a large box and, and a smaller box under the table. And I pulled them out and opened it up and started going through. And I saw that it was all these items that were so old. I just said, I'll take the whole box. So I didn't even know what fully was in there. I saw that there were some shoes and clothes, but I did not realize how good it was. So here is another pair in suede. These ones are in pretty good condition too. So hopefully, you know, I can get a hundred to $200. So any prices that I mention are pending research and I will work to get most of these items listed in my Poshmark closet. Uh, but of course this is gonna take some time because I, I think I got close to a hundred items. So if you see something that you're interested in, don't hesit hesitate to comment down below and let me know you're interested and I will prioritize getting it listed for you. So I'm not sure on the age of these ones. These look more possibly 1960s, but I'll have to do some more research. Still a very fun uh, pair of shoes nonetheless, and that liner definitely looks 60s, super cool. A little pair of vintage leather baby shoes. Isn't it just so fun to see these pieces that are so old? I just have never come across 
this volume of items from, you know, that, that age this far back. Uh, this is just a pink snakeskin belt. This is probably more from the 70s or 80s, but I still do well with uh, vintage snakeskin belts. These, I don't know exactly the age of. Again, these could be from the 60s. Just a cute, fun pair of white shoes. These are Amano Gala, made in USA. I have no idea on pricing on those. Those are a size 7B. Although vintage sizing can uh, run smaller, so keep that in mind if it's something that you are interested in. Another pair of what look to be um, wedding shoes. These ones aren't in as good of condition. I'm not sure if satin can be cleaned. Uh, when I mentioned that I had this haul coming in another one of my videos, they said someone said that uh, a museum may be interested in these items. So after some research, I may uh, see if some of these could be donated to a museum. These are satin shoes. Just, oh, I just am so excited to have found and to be able to get to see all these. I think this is 1920s leather purse with the tooling on the front. Isn't that just so fun? And a vintage hat. Let's see, with this black, it's kind of hard for you to see, but it has these really cool details. I am unsure. Uh, this says genuine fur felt. I think this could be 20s or 40s as well. I'll need to uh, do a little bit more research on that. A pair of vintage gloves. Another pair of shoes. These still have these wood block shapers in them. And these look maybe a little bit newer, maybe like 1940s. Not new, of course, but... Okay, let's move on to the clothing uh, in just a second here. I picked up this kind of random radio. It looked like a vintage brick cell phone. I just thought it was cool and thought there might be some value for that. And then uh, a couple of pieces of random jewelry. Oh, there is these that I don't know what they are, but if you know what they are, comment down below. They are not I mean, I don't think they're bracelets. No, they're too large to be bracelets. Could they possibly, they could possibly be like curtain tie backs, but I just thought they were really cool, hand painted with kind of like maybe enamel detail, possibly Bakelite, a really cool piece. Okay, let's pull over the clothing now. This is a super exciting part. There is a one item that is either like a bed coverlet or a possibly a, um, I think it's a bed coverlet. I was gonna say it could be a, let's see, can you guys see that? It could be a tablecloth, but it's this beautiful piece with all of this hand, either, what do they call this, embroidery? Um, there's another, word for it but just really a gorgeous piece with all this detail and this beautiful lady on the front i just could not believe that find so spectacular <clears throat> and pardon me if i get a little congested i do have a slight allergy to when things smell musty or dusty and these you know because of their age uh of course they're going to this is, I believe, a nightgown or an underdress. Just a super cool piece. Stay with me. We are going to get to some of the spectacular beaded pieces here in just a second. So here is one. And like I said, most of these items, or all of the items, definitely have flaws. Some of them are more flawed than others with holes, rips, tears. Some of them are just, you know, show their age, but still spectacular nonetheless. So I believe this is a 1920s dress with the hand beaded glass beads. Has this beautiful bead detail on the front. This is a midi length. It is sheer and beading on the bottom. This 
it's just not doing them justice in this video. I really wish that you could see the detail. I will try and put them on a mannequin uh, so that people can see how beautiful they are when I get them listed. These will probably take some time for me to get listed just because I want to uh, do research and fully examine them to make sure that I proper, properly state uh, you know, the approximate age and I disclose all of the flaws. This is a stunning piece. This could be like a morning uh, dress. Look at that lace detail and the sequin and beaded detail. It ties at the neck. It is long sleeve. It is a maxi length. This one is actually in pretty nice condition. I think that there wouldn't even really need to be much done with this. I don't know how these would be cleaned or laundered, so I'm probably not going to risk doing that. Uh, I will leave that up to an expert. Look at this jacket. Isn't that just something else? And the fabric, the detail, this is cropped with long sleeves. And, you know, I can't say sizing on most of these, but this one is a small piece so probably extra small or small this is another beaded tank dress that is sheer you can see the beading detail there look at this along the waist and down the front oh my gosh I mean this this is couture basically from from the era that you know that all has to be hand done it's on the front and the back this one also isn't in terrible condition. You know, I'm sure there are some little holes and uh, possibly splits at the seams, but nothing that a little, you know, time and care wouldn't fix. Okay, so I think this skirt actually goes with that cropped jacket. It is because it is the same fabric and it is a maxi skirt with a detail at the bottom and I wouldn't be surprised if this has like I don't know if it's horsehair but it, it does have some sort of backing in there to make it firmer so that it will flow out again oh I just wish that that these would come across better on camera uh, this, I don't even know if I will list because it is so flawed, but this is a vintage little baby outfit, little jumper. Isn't that cute? There is the label, but it is really yellowed and it has stains. I don't know. I might still list it. I just hate to see, see things go to the landfill if someone could potentially, you know, bring them back to life or appreciate them in some way. This is another spectacular dress. It has the beaded detail at the sleeves. I think this one might be a little bit newer, possibly 40s. There is the label, and this has a matching belt with it. it has a little pocket detail with beading, and this is a midi length. And this one is in pretty good condition as far as I can tell. So again, that might be something that is wearable as it is. There's the matching belt. Oh, this is cool. So I think this might go with that first dress. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Can you even believe that somebody just, this was just there dumped in a box? I just, the box just kept on giving. So of course the ties are pretty bad, but those could be replaced quite easily. Oh, so cool, so cool. This just makes me so happy. I hope you guys uh, enjoy me sharing this. Okay, now this one is about shredded to bits. So I think someone would probably maybe cut out the beading on this and apply it to something else. Like this is so delicate that I can barely hold it or pick it up, but look, and the bottom, maybe they could make it into a skirt because the bottom has all of this detail. Look, oh, look at that, you guys. Just something else. These are just such, such special finds. This is one of the reasons that I love doing what I do because 
you know, this experience is just not something that everybody gets to have outside of a, you know, a museum. And to be able to hold and see the workmanship and the fabrics on these pieces is just really a wonderful experience. So this is a peachy colored dress with the glass beads. It is a midi length kind of gathered in the middle. Look at that kind of feather detail. And this one, this one is in okay condition, but I do think there are some holes, definitely some loose and missing beads on that. This is another one of the spectacular pieces. It is shredded though at the top. So it would take somebody who was very skilled, yes, can you see that? Very skilled to repair these or, you know, like I said, it could be possibly cut down and then attached to some other fabric to reinforce it. But look at that. Oh, just really stunning. I wish that I had the skill or the patience to repair something like this, but Unfortunately, I, my personality, I just do not have the, the patience to uh, work on something like this. So this is a two piece set. It is a tank dress, which is kind of simple at the top, but has all the beading and kind of ruffles. Let's see if I can get that to come across. There we go on the bottom. And it kind of is cut up the sides. So, oh yeah, and it is lined at the bottom another really spectacular piece and then it has this little short sleeve or kind of sleeveless shirt that goes over the top and it has that same kind of rosette detail at the bottom and this one isn't in terrible condition so could possibly be you know just take a little bit of repair and it could be worn or added to a collection this was kind of a random thing. I don't think this one is as old, but I thought it was very, you know, cottage core, Anne of Green Gables. It's like a nighty with these gathering and bow details, kind of a midi, short midi length, but I just thought that was fun, so I grabbed that. A couple of under, well, you know, actually, I don't know. I think these are underskirts. They are, yeah, definitely under skirts or slips uh, maxi length this is um like has a drawstring waist that is is pretty much gone but again the fabric could be used in some way to make something else there are a couple stay with me <laughs> there are a couple of wedding dresses in here that i'm excited to share with you another underskirt or slip with the ruffles you can i don't know if you can see all of the dust coming out of this i'm probably gonna have to <laughs> take something after uh after i film this just to and I don't know if this would have been a dress or if this would have been a nighty, but look at that detail, beautiful peachy. Yeah, based on the feel, I think this might have been a nightgown. Peachy midi dress. And this, this has, you know, this is a little bit larger. And this one has a tag too. Oh, it says silk, Kami Brothers, size 42. Yeah, so this could be a size large or extra large, which is nice to find in a vintage item. And this looks to be in decent condition considering the age. Okay, so here is, is this one? Here is one of the wedding dresses. And I am going to attempt to take this out of the plastic. I had left it in there just because I didn't want to handle it any more than it needed to be. But it is a short sleeve button up and look at this isn't this so cool with the netting i would imagine that there was something under this but you can see there are holes in this piece but oh my just i mean just a cool piece where else would you see something this spectacular i'm so excited just you know even though some of it may not be sellable it's just, it's so special to be able to have this stuff. 
This is like a robe, but I also think that it could have been, it could be worn over a dress. It has this lace detail and look at the, look at the sleeves, little tassel at the end. Very cool piece. It looks like there is some fake kind of flower detail. Oh, so cool. And I don't know, that one could be, no, nope, I think that's probably 20s too. Uh, this era is not really my forte. I am more, typically more knowledgeable about items from like the 50s through the 70s. And these, oh, these are some little like pants. They are silky and look at the fabric. Oh, I think that is, are those dragons? Super cool, wide leg. This is a elastic waist. The elastic still does have some spring in it, but definitely needs to be replaced. Okay, let's get to the other wedding dress. Actually, there's two. I think they're wedding dresses. They are, you know, like a champagne or cream color. So this one is a tank with these sheer rose details and the you know tank is separated but that would just take a stitch to repair that and it is a full maxi length with all of this detail my oh my look how this is cut here i can't say a size on this but i would suspect maybe a small there are some splits to the lace mesh here. Not surprising at all for the age. Definitely probably some spots and stains. Again, I don't know if these can be cleaned or how you would, but we'll get to that <laughs> at some point here. Here is the other dress. This is liquid satin, has some shoulder pads, beautiful detail at the sleeves. Just look at this gorgeous full length. I, you know, I hope that I can look into how to um, possibly steam these just so that, you know, I could show them at their best, but I am a little bit hesitant to do so. We'll just, we'll have to see. Okay, another underskirt, just with the fun detail. Someone could, could wear that or potentially make something else out of it. I don't know if this is an overskirt or an underskirt. Kind of looks like it might be an overskirt. Not too bad condition. Oh, this was really pretty. Little sheer blouse. Look at that detail on the collar. The lace has a tie at the back. Oh my gosh, you guys, what do you think that is all? But can you believe, can you believe that that someone donated all of that? I suppose that it could have come, we have a theater uh, that people donate to for, you know, costumes or whatnot. So I suppose it could be stuff that they didn't want or need and they re redonated it. I don't really know, but I am so thankful uh, to have, gotten all of this and I hope that I can pass it on to someone who will really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoy these types of videos and you want to see uh, my future hauls, I am a thriftaholic so I am always buying and selling new items and I'm hoping to bring you more uh, thrift with me videos and thrift hauls. I also do ship with me videos every week. So uh, I like doing that because after the haul, you can see what I actually sell the items for and it can give you an idea, or an idea of what things to keep your eyes out for when you're out thrifting uh, so that you can make more money. Uh, that's, that's why I have this channel. If you could give this video a thumbs up and comment down below, those things also really help me out because they tell YouTube that people are enjoying and interacting with my video. And so YouTube will boost my video and suggest it to other uh, viewers. Thank you, thank you again. I will see you all again soon.